one when we were created. We, we were helping uh, people uh, write letters and send them home. Uh, by Vietnam, we were setting up phone calls. Today, you can walk into a USO center here at Al-Assad Air Base, for example, in Iraq, and you can Skype home. So that is Dr. J.D. Crouch, chairman of the USO right here behind me. He's talking about the nonprofit and how it helps service members in places like Iraq. The organization also has deep roots here in Colorado, as Channel 2's Dan Daru explains. The USO, United Service Organizations, a rather generic name for an outfit with a very important mission. Our mission is to strengthen America's military service members by keeping them connected to the family, home, and country throughout their service to the nation. The USO plays a vital role in the well-being of current duty, National Guard, and reserves. Um, we've served in every major conflict. And then Dubai, I take a smaller plane into Kandahar. And they continue to serve right here at Denver International Airport. But they're just wonderful. Around 360 visitors come every day for a little R&R. &R. They're convenient, they're comfortable, you can relax, free Wi-Fi, food. It's just a place to get away from the hustle and bustle of a normal airport. Like uh, Tech Sergeant Taisha Jackson, who life. loves her job. I've deployed three times, I've worked bombers, fighters, um, so every base is a new adventure. She's celebrating 15 years in the Air Force with a trip to Australia and is relaxing at the DIA USO before her long flight. The USO is a big part of my military life. Located in Concourse A, the DIA USO has been here since 2005. If there's a major military base, you're probably gonna find a USO nearby. The USO is a nonprofit organization and not a government agency. We rely on sponsors and donors to help us do our mission. Jackson depends on the USO for companionship, a place to rest, and a friendly face. It's disappointing when there's not one in an airport. Military missions come and go, but for the 4.9 million active duty, guard, and reserves, the USO's mission, they hope, never ends. Dan DeRue, Channel 2 News. So being a nonprofit, the USO is always looking for volunteers and donations. You can go to kwgn.com for contact information.